um, from Yola, Nigeria. I'll be sending Bitcoin Cash to a friend in Ghana. Just press on the send here. Just input the dollar and you press continue. So this is it. I'll just slide to send. Wow, as you can see, I just received one dollar. I think the Bitcoin Cash can overtake Ripple in the next in the next year. Bitcoin Cash is the one that has the best chance to being able to bring more economic freedom to every single human being on the entire planet. Bitcoin Cash is a worldwide network that anyone can use to send money anywhere in the world. From London to Cairo, from Lagos to Mumbai, from Berlin to Caracas, and everywhere in between. Bitcoin Cash is decentralized. There is no central authority that demands you fill out forms or provide identification. Bitcoin Cash operates outside of the nation state and outside of the corporate world. Bitcoin Cash is internet money that millions of people have adopted and are building on. Bitcoin Cash is permissionless. You don't have to ask anyone's permission to buy, hold, send, or receive Bitcoin Cash. Not governments, corporations, bureaucrats, nor warlords, nor clerks. Bitcoin Cash is free to use. No limits, no lines. Just sound money for the world. So you can send remittances, spend across borders, build your business, and help build a world full of prosperity and opportunity. Bitcoin Cash is for everyone, everywhere. And to prove it, Bitcoin Cash charges almost nothing to send a transaction. Receiving transactions is always completely free. Bitcoin Cash is a new form of money with a predictable emission schedule that is freed from the manipulation and corruption of nation states, banks, and other legacy middlemen. Bitcoin Cash is a digital ledger and programmable money. You can build apps on top of it that solve problems for people in the real world and earn yourself new income in the process. Bitcoin Cash is ready for new builders like you. And there are many tools, events, guides, and mentors ready to help you become a Bitcoin Cash builder. My name is Josh Green. I am the lead programmer and primary contributor to Bitcoin Bitcoin. Bought my first Bitcoin on, on Mt. Gox, uh, and I just you know fell in love. And, and that's when I started Bitcoin Verde um, to really help bolster uh, the, the community itself. Uh, so that we don't have the same problems that happen with Bitcoin Core. My name is Zaza. I am the organizer of Bangkok Bitcoin Cash Meetup. I'm David, software developer. I've been working on Bitcoin and then Bitcoin Cash for many years now. I've worked on projects such as Bitcoin XT, Bitcoin Unlimited, ABC, Bitcoin Cash Note, Flipstarter. My name is Ignacio Araujo Garcia. I have 24 years of age. I'm from Caracas, Venezuela, and I'm currently part of the team the Bitcoin Cash site. My name is Mike Komarinsky. I run Grapefruit Trading, which is an OTC trading firm. We specialize in cryptocurrency. My favorite coin is Bitcoin Cash, so we, we trade lots of Bitcoin Cash. My name is Jonathan Tumim, and I've been involved in Bitcoin since roughly like 2013. I've been a miner for um, about six years now, uh, industrial scale miner. I also have been active in development since 2015. I got started with Bitcoin XT and uh, then co-founded the Bitcoin Classic project to double the block size limit. With Bitcoin Cash, I've been active in dealing with scalability issues as well as the difficulty adjustment algorithm. So the difficulty adjustment algorithm that was deployed in November was uh, in large part my creation, also Mark Lenderberg's and a few other people's. My name is Joe Martagana. I'm the CEO of Paytaka. Our primary product is a mobile wallet app that works in Android and iOS. Uh, my name is Jonathan Silverblad. 
I came to Bitcoin in 2013 at the earliest, after the Bitcoin Cash split in say 2018, early 2018, uh, I decided to jump in full time. Today I'm working at General Protocol as the lead developer and I'm building uh, the Enerhedge stability platform. This is Eric from Delta State Nigeria and I'm, I'm about to onboard someone into Bitcoin Cash today. My name is Akane Yoko, I'm a co-founder of Satoshi's Angels and an organizer of Tokyo Bitcoin Cash meetups. Hi, my name is Prince, I'm a Nigerian and this is my Bitcoin Cash wallet. I'm George Danley and I'm building mass adoption for Bitcoin Cash in the developing world, Latin America, Africa and South Asia. The developing world, of course, is the best place, the place where the cash use case is most likely to take hold first. I'm Roger Veer. I was the first person in the entire world to start investing in the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency ecosystem. My name is Shomari Prince. I discovered Bitcoin while searching for an alternative to the ridiculous fiat currency. My name is Quarantin Mercer. I'm a software engineer working on Bitcoin Cash related projects. I formerly worked at Bitmain, CoinSpice, Bitcoin BCH. I'm Tom Zender. I've worked on Bitcoin XT with Mike Hearn, Bitcoin Classic with uh, Gavin Andreessen, and after they successfully closed the doors, I found it flowy. I am Liberlander Yoshi Livo. I stream daily on twitch.tv slash Honkler Hangout. My name is Eleanor Blank. I'm the business developer and marketeer for Satoshi's Angels and the founder of Crypto Canal. My name is Fernando Pelliccioni. I am from Argentina. I am a software developer. I was involved in the Bitcoin world in 2016 and in Bitcoin Cash from the beginning. Uh, my name is Nguyen Idris. I'm from Yola, Nigeria. So I'm about to send Bitcoin Cash to a friend in Kenya. ScaleNet serves to stress test large Bitcoin Cash blocks and starts with an initial default block size limit of 256 megabytes. ScaleNet is a cooperative endeavor of multiple full node software projects where different teams and developers may actually compete to create the best scaling solutions for Bitcoin Cash. We can make full size blocks uh, consistently uh, on ScaleNet. Axel uh, made a chain or like a string of about 20 blocks that were all 255.9 megabytes in size. Um, the, the consensus limit on the block size for ScaleNet is currently 256 megabytes. So basically he was able to uh, make every single block be at the limit. A system that notifies merchants about the existence of a conflicting transaction within several seconds would eliminate that risk, allowing them to react to the situation however they think is appropriate, for example by withholding the goods or alerting law enforcement. It cryptographically proves a double spend has occurred. It notifies the wallets involved in a double spend transaction. So far, Flowey, the Hub and BU full nodes have already added my proposed implementation. BCHD and BCHN plan to have it implemented by November. Uh, lately, we've been uh, contracted with uh, Bitcoin Unlimited to uh, write the first BCH specification. Uh, that we started, in, uh, this is actually the second round of funding that we started uh, in, in August. And it's a, it's a descriptive specification, not a proscriptive specification. So this is really just describing what the community what the protocol is doing and, and so that other members of the community can, can choose to follow uh, and also attempting to document what, what the differences is, uh, are between uh, different implementations and, and different parts of the, the protocol. I would like to investigate tokens and smart contracts as a combination, right? Ethereum um, has shown that there's a large market. The idea would be to create a distributed financial system with limited smart contract capabilities. In Ethereum, the, um, the transaction can access, you know, any contract on the, currently on the blockchain anywhere, right? So, you know, it, it has these huge data requirements. The intention for something like Bitcoin Cash would be, you know, a much more limited uh, scope and is effectively access the data that we already have, you know, we already have to load up in order to validate the transaction. And that would allow you to do a lot of things. Ticket sellers, they really don't like ticket scalpers, right? You know, they don't like people reselling their tickets. But what if they could write a smart contract that gave them 2% of it every time the ticket was sold? 
that might change their their opinion of you know resale of tickets significantly right so you know with, with tokens and smart contracts you could write a, a system like that now you're suddenly offering a feature that doesn't exist in standard ticket sales right uh, that might catch someone's eye and that might be the sort of functionality that you could go off and really sell. Part of what we've been implementing is Bitcoin Verity 2.0. Uh, this is going to be mining stability and the initial block download improvements, which reduces uh, the resources required to run Bitcoin Verde and makes it a more viable uh, mining node implementation. Kanot is a full node. Bitcoin has full node. And it is also a set of libraries. You can use the node as a library. It has wallet fun functionality also. You can use as replacement of D, and we have the C++ API or library, the C library, and right now the C Sharp library. In the next month, I will start working in the JavaScript and Python library. We're also working on the block template validation server, which uh, helps mitigate losses uh, for uh, any risks that may or may not actually exist from uh, mining multiple implementations. We really want to help uh, node diversity, not just in the, uh, the, the network level, but also at the mining level. And the block template validation service um, uh, makes it so that there is very, very little uh, risk for running multiple implementations from a code, sp an accidental split perspective, but also from a profitability loss for miners. Causes Cash is a 100% open source 100% non-custodial volunteer funding platform, continuing on the great work started by the Flipstarter team. It works very much like Patreon in enabling projects and teams to offer monthly subscriptions to their supporters. Regardless of which option you choose, all or nothing or recurring payments, the coin holder retains 100% control of their coins at all times. I'm currently busy with uh, Flipstarter, BitcoinCashNode.org, the Coin Party Hackathon website, as well as maintaining the main Python Bitcoin Cash library called BitCash. Our primary product is a mobile wallet app that works in Android and iOS. It's called Paytaka. Uh, people who are in physical proximity and are able to scan uh, QR codes like for example uh, when you are paying for goods in a, in a grocery or in a shop. In those cases the, the, the app can actually um, transmit data, um, these are signed transactions from sender to receiver uh, without internet connection. And this, um, this, is, this transaction is digitally signed, it cannot be faked and then this is uh, settled uh, later on when any of these par parties um, connect to the internet. I want to show off a project that I'm working on that you have not heard of. We're doing on-chain voting and elections and we just launched the beta of our product. We have an Android app for casting votes, for verifying other people's votes and for tallying the whole election. We are using some cool tech including Bitcoin Cash smart contracts for casting the votes and for securing them on the blockchain. General Protocols uh, is currently building DeFi for Bitcoin Cash. Basically, it's kind of the, the first company to really attempt a, 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 a kind of DeFi platform for Bitcoin Cash. We're currently working on the, this platform called AnyHedge, which basically allows two parties to enter into an agreement where one side wants to keep their money stable in terms of US dollars or some other asset. And the other party wants to um, leverage their, their, their money. So they want to get more of the volatility that Bitcoin Cash has. Melis is a software wallet for Bitcoin Cash. Melis team is working on adding new features on the wallet, such as SLP tokens support, automatized legacy, and in particular, partnership with other companies in order to develop other products. I'm the lead developer of Spice Token project. Uh, my team here uh, developed Spice Token uh, last year, and 
and uh, we've been building a lot of tools, uh, a lot of uh, uh, features to the token, to the specifically to the uh, spice uh, tipping bot, and all the all the games that uh, work with the spice tipping bot. Nito JS is a software development kit. It was actually my first project when I joined the community. You may have seen the release of Nito.cash, a privacy web wallet back in January. And just a few months ago, I released a web app that allows you to do cash shuffle from directly within a web browser. I'm working to add to the flowy lineup of applications a wallet, properly open source, and with invitations to companies and services to work together to make one great product. The wallet is built using the same tech that underpins the Bitcoin Cash full node, but will have a front-end built in QML, which is essentially JavaScript, and this makes it easy for front-end devs. Companies that want to start a product on Bitcoin Cash can create their own skinned version and ship it with their own UX and logo and so forth. I'm out today uh, with uh, Sebastian, also of uh, the BCH Latam team. Um, we're, ta we're talking to merchants, uh, planning our strategy. Uh, Medellin is coming out of the whole uh, lockdown thing. El día de hoy les tengo una increíble noticia acerca de nuestro uniforme para poder captar y abordar a cada uno de esos comerciantes que día a día vamos en el proceso de afiliación dentro de Bitcoin Cash. Es por eso que nos acaban de llegar absolutamente todas las camisas para cada uno de esos vendedores que estarán afiliando comerciantes a lo largo de esta increíble trayectoria. I'm mainly working on two things for BCH right now. One is providing more support for the meetups. I'm working with an amazing community manager who has been a dedicated supporter of BCH on this and we are looking forward to working with individual meetups to see how we can grow better. El día de hoy estuvimos llevando a cabo una inducción para los nuevos asesores comerciales que nos estarán acompañando en el año 2021 en la organización Bitcoin Cash Latam. And also making sure that the East and the West are connected, so making sure that our Western community hears what we're doing in the East and vice versa. Ustedes van a tener todo el material POP pertinente para que cada comerciante pueda anotar su frase de recuperación. ¿Para qué son las frases de recuperación? En dado caso de que yo extravié mi celular, cambié de celular, me robaron el celular, se me quemó la computadora, cambié de negocio y yo tiene otro ordenador, yo con esta frase de recuperación puedo volver a descargar la billetera, activar con la nueva frase y mis fondos quedan exactamente igual como cuando los tenía en otra billetera. So this is my plan for the merchant adoption and uh, meetup in Yola. So uh, let me just show you uh, here. So example, uh, we'll be focusing on first this, this throughout this month, throughout the timeline of this uh, uh, merchant adoption, I'll be focusing on uh, restaurants here. Right now we are uh, making plans at Pan Money, Bitcoin Cash site, PCH Latam, to uh, to launch a, a major project in the first few months of uh, 2021 to set up five cities, yeah, three in Latin America, one in Africa, one in South Asia, where we will be holding about 17 events. Uh, we'll be onboarding 100 merchants per city. Es muy sencillo. Ustedes también deberían de crearse su cuenta en lopas.bitcoin.com puesto que es muy importante que los comerciantes le van a preguntar ajá, ¿cómo yo envío, cómo compro mi dinero? En dado caso de que, bueno, yo reciba Bitcoin Cash y recibí una, 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 un dinero grande hoy porque hice una venta exponencial, ojalá así sea, y este, quiero venderlo. También se pueden hacer ventas peer-to-peer, -peer, pero hay plataformas como estas en donde tú puedes vender el dinero y puedes enviarlo a tus cuentas nacionales, internacionales y todo lo demás y también se pueden hacer transacciones entre personas a personas dentro de ella. Es completamente segura, como lo dice aquí, porque es una plataforma privada. Uh, the Liberland Merit is a SLP token on top of Bitcoin Cash and with the proceeds of a successful Flipstarter, I will uh, invest it in the Honkler Hangout stream and on top of all of that, I am also building the Liberland Opportunity Zone and one day in the future, I hope to invite you here because what makes my stream unique is that I stream 
20 miles out of Lieberland. I left behind family and friends a couple of years ago to build a new nation. Que nosotros tenemos en, en este caso en Venezuela ahorita que se utiliza mucho el dólar, el bolívar depende completamente del gobierno, del Estado, su control, la transacción, los movimientos que uno realiza, así sea por cuentas bancarias. Es decir, no somos tan libres a la hora de nosotros transar nuestro propio dinero. Porque al nosotros colocarlo en algún banco, al nosotros colocarlo en alguna transacción donde tú al enviarlo quede algún registro, eso permite algún índice de control para este caso los gobiernos. En cierto modo, si el banco se llegase a caer la plataforma en algún momento, no podemos movilizar nuestro dinero. Entonces, es completamente nuestro en dado caso. Bitcoin Cash is the one that has the best chance to be able to bring more economic freedom to every single human being on the entire planet, young or old, rich or poor, black or white. Uh, it's accepted at more than 100,000 websites around the world. Uh, it's accepted just about everywhere, at more physical locations than any other cryptocurrency. It can process more transactions than uh, just about any other of the top 10 uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, it's really an amazing, amazing opportunity to bring more economic freedom to the entire world. I'm a big fan of Bitcoin Cash. I've been in Bitcoin since 2010. I truly believe that Bitcoin Cash has the the same characteristics of the Bitcoin that I, I got into back in the day. We need better marketing. Um, we need better, like the main bottleneck right now in adoption is people uh, using it. And one thing that we can do to help with that is to address the fidelity problem. I think that there is still some extent to which um, large potential use cases haven't been developed because uh, those developers or those uh, businesses haven't seen in a convincing fashion that Bitcoin Cash can handle any transaction that they throw at us. It is my belief that we should finally start getting serious about building not just a technically advanced system, but an actual product that actual people want to use. There are a lot of little details that go into turning a vision into a product. User experience is something that we can definitely improve upon. Del año 2021, lograr tener a un millón de personas con su billetera de Bitcoin Cash utilizándolo normalmente. Quizás muchas personas lo escuchan, pero es full complicado y tal. No lo estamos haciendo solamente en Latinoamérica, lo estamos haciendo en el sur de Asia y en África. Y por ejemplo, el día de hoy, ¿cuántas billeteras descargamos? Cinco de 5 en 5 en 5 en 10 en 20 en 30 tal no sé qué esperamos en el diciembre de 2021 lograr la meta que son un millón de usuarios utilizando Bitcoin Cash at the you know development and engineering level we need to try and solve more problems uh, to give you guys the tools you need to have more people say oh I totally want to use this because it solves this specific problem Bitcoin Cash is the closest to uh, an electronic peer-to-peer uh, -peer decentralized cash um, among the other major blockchains and um, it's 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 cheap to transfer it's fast I would say that it's a matter of uh, adoption and usability and they go kind of hand in hand what services can you offer to an actual user that would be something that you use like day to day every day we need to focus on adoption it's important that we onboard our friends it's important that we onboard people near near to us um, but we have to think about it systematically as well. We need to develop systems that can virally uh, and sustainably, that can, that can build momentum as they go, that, that can onboard huge numbers of people, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, that can make it their, in their interest to join us. Not just because of our nice principles, not just because Bitcoin Cash has this or that or is better than BTC in this way, but because it's in the self-interest of every person that is joining Bitcoin Cash. If you want to bring more economic freedom to the world, it doesn't mean the other cryptocurrencies are bad at that. It just means Bitcoin Cash uh, has a fantastic chance at uh, doing that faster and sooner than any of the other ones out there. And that's why I'm building on top of Bitcoin Cash. I'm going to be realistic here and, you know, not shoot for the moon. But I work in the markets. I look at the coin market cap every day, every minute. I know where most of the coins are in the top 20, what ranking they are, what they need to do to move up and down. I think that Bitcoin Cash can overtake Ripple in the next in the next year. 
So let's do that. Start small, then we can worry about Tether, then we can worry about ETH, and then we can worry about Bitcoin. But um, yeah, I think Bitcoin Cash is everything it needs to go up, to go up past Ripple. Who likes Ripple anyways, right? One thing that we can do is to make some large strides in uh, increasing the capacity limits and uh, enabling those uh, things. That's not the only thing, it's not, probably not going to be the most uh, uh, important thing, but it is one thing we can do. Beyond that, I think we just need to um, get more people to use it. We do need to make a more compelling use case and make it so that not only is it a bit better than everything else, it's so much better that it becomes an obvious choice. We need to have some more semblance of, of governance to ensure that we don't fall into uh, the same situations that we've had in the past. We need to make sure everybody has a voice. On the road to mass adoption, we have to think mostly about ways where we make it not just easy, but exciting for people to use Bitcoin Cash. In my experience, this means that we need to work on a thousand and one little features and details that make things just work. Massive adoption implies we need to take Satoshi's idea and turn it into a product. We have the technology to scale ready to go. We now need to focus on making it fun to use. We believe that Bitcoin Cash can help us um, in, in promoting uh, borderless uh, payments. So we think that uh, we can leverage on the, the, the low fees and the fast transactions of uh, Bitcoin Cash. What I want to focus on and Bitcoin Unlimited to focus on is technologies that might make your job easier, right? And that would be to create additional outlets where people could say, ooh, that's something cool that I really want to do with my currency, right? Whatever that idea happens to be. So from my perspective, that means broadening the base functionality of um, the crypto. Sin intermediarios es par a par, es decir, aquí yo no necesito ninguna entidad pública, yo no necesito ningún banco, yo no necesito ninguna persona que trance por mí para yo poderle mandar dinero a Zulia. Simplemente Zulia me manda su código de billetera o yo le escaneo su código y listo, yo le envío su dinero y fue una transacción entre ella y yo. Sin ningún problema, sin nadie que me diga, tienes que enviarle solo 100 dólares porque entonces por los 100 dólares yo me quedo con una comisión de 2 dólares porque les hice el favor. Absolutamente nada. For 2021, what Bitcoin Cash needs is entrepreneurs and people who develop businesses. Uh, we need people who build use cases and who drive demand for, for the currency. We're here to build. We're here to build Bitcoin Cash. We're here to build a financial inclusion, prosperity, liberty for the whole world. Going forward, my focus with Bitcoin Cash Node will be to onboard new developers, help them get their code merged into the project. We really want Bitcoin Verde to be uh, more ubiquitous uh, than it is today and really help uh, facilitate that adoption at node diversity and, and the redundancy for uh, the stability of the network. I'm really looking forward to collaborating with more of the Bitcoin BCH community over the next few years and bringing this dream of a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash to every man, woman, and child in the world. Our goal for 2021 is to onboard 1 million new users of Bitcoin Cash. Now, we don't expect to do that all by ourselves. You know, we welcome other people to join the coalition, the coalition for adoption of Bitcoin Cash. Having better uh, or more accessible tools for developers to create applications around Bitcoin Cash that will help. So I think uh, there's this uh, mainnet.cash project that was funded with a Kickstarter earlier this year. And they're definitely doing a lot of good work into making that all more accessible towards developers. The goal I want to accomplish this next year for Bitcoin Cash is bringing as many users as possible into the ecosystem including developers. This is why I'm involved with Bitcash to make it as easy as possible for developers to join and start coding on Bitcoin Cash. Um, but also individuals. This is why I started the Bitcoin Cash meetup here in Bangkok. We're looking for investors and Jamstack developers to join the team. The Pan Money team are veterans at marketing, uh, local groundwork adoption. We need 
developers and investors so that we can create a viral app that will enable a boom in mass adoption across the developing world. Today, I'm most excited about working with the Bitcoin.com wallet team on bringing Cash Fusion to mobile. Final. Roger's been super encouraging um, with that idea and Corbin's team has been extremely cooperative in sharing their ideas and experiences and providing feedback on my own ideas. Uh, we're also uh, planning on releasing the block template validation service. We're, we're planning on having that done before uh, May 2021. And also we're trying to have the first Bitcoin Verde uh, block mined before May of 2021. Uh, we're hoping that the validation service uh, will lend us some security with that, and we're really hoping, again, with uh, with the whole mining community to, to really start using more than one implementation, just so we can prevent the kind of problems that we're seeing today from happening again in the future. So if you've got an Android device and want to try out, you want to help us test it out, you want to be part of our test group, go to voter.cash, download our app, join our Telegram. If you're a builder who wants to use some of our cool tech, Please join us, we would love to have you. Going forward, we will be researching more smart contracts to improve both on privacy and scalability of on-chain elections. If you're a builder and want to start on Bitcoin development, join our Slack, join our Telegram, or just submit your code to our GitLab repo. We're happy to help you land your code in our code base. We should try to come to an agreement on a formalized name, ticker, and whatnot for the Satoshis and the bits or cash or whatever you want to call the unit that is 100 Satoshis. If we do get a uh, ISO compatible unit code like XCH or something like that, and we do get zero or no decimals, then suddenly we are actually compatible with sales and accounting. Believe it or not, what we want and what we want to bring to our ecosystem is companies. We want to bring people with profit motive who are able to build use cases. Let's try to make it so that it as easy as possible to, to have a business in Bitcoin Cash. Mis objetivos como project manager dentro de Bitcoin Cash Site para el año 2021 son muy claros. Es la expansión, lograr tener más de un millón de personas que adecúen esta modalidad para su vida cotidiana. No importa quiénes sean, inversores, comerciantes, creadores de contenido, periodistas, entre otros. ¿De qué manera lo vamos a realizar? A través de foros, live streams, meetups, eventos, campañas de mercadeo y mucho más. Estamos trabajando para que se siga sumando personas a Bitcoin Cash. I intend to expand into a hub with a section for exchange where I will make it easier for Bitcoin users, Bitcoin Cash users to exchange their Bitcoin Cash to fiat currencies. Over the next year, I hope to expand Satoshi's Angels team so that we can do more things for Bitcoin Cash. I like to keep my focus on merchant adoption and community growth and get more people in the community involved so that we can grow faster. The second one I'm working on is expanding merchant adoption of Bitcoin Cash and some other coins in Japan, Thailand, Australia, and hopefully some more countries. So I look forward to continuing building on Bitcoin Cash, bringing more people in, educating people, and I look forward to bringing Satoshi's Angels basically to a whole other level in 2021. I'm really excited. Um, feel free to join in on the discussion through twitch.tv slash Honkler Hangout, and hopefully I will see you there one day. Definitely one of the things, one of the, the, the fields is these kinds of smart contracts. So if more people, if, or if more projects spin up that, that do this kind of DeFi, that, that will definitely help because uh, we've seen um, these kinds of projects already be um, pretty big on other chains like Ethereum. Well, we're going to keep making progress and uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Keep on going Bitcoin Cash. Entonces los invito a que no se muevan de nuestras redes sociales que venimos con muchísimas buenas noticias. Go out there and make cool things. <laughs> Así que muchas gracias por ese momento de atención y pues nada, nos veremos en otro video. Ciao. And let's keep building Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash is fast for remittances. Lazy for stocks pays me Bitcoin Cash. Everybody can use Bitcoin Cash everywhere, unlike Bitcoin BTC. Lazy for stocks pays me Bitcoin Cash, as you can see right here. Bitcoin Cash is fast for remittances.
Bueno, estamos muy felices de que el día de hoy Olga forme parte de Go Producciones. Bueno, pues Go Producciones forme parte de Bitcoin Cash Latin y Bitcoin Cash Site como un nuevo comerciante afiliado y vamos a hacer el pago en tiempo real. Ya ahorita estuviste dentro de la actividad, sí. pero le vas a dar a recibir. Me muestras tu billetera. Yo le voy a dar enviar. Bitcoin Cash, escaneo el código QR. Escaneo la billetera, coloco el monto y lo envío en tiempo real. Y ya Olga acaba de recibir tus fondos, vea la página inicial y el fondo del pago está completamente listo. Entonces, Gracias por todo, de verdad que sí, por el apoyo que tienen ustedes, una gran iniciativa. Gracias a ti Olga por formar parte y bueno, vamos a estar muy atentos a muchísimas cosas que vamos a hacer juntos en todo I choose Bitcoin Cash for a faster cross-border transaction. Hello everyone, I'm Dennis. I'm a citizen of Nigeria. I love Reeds.cash and this is my Bitcoin Cash wallet. Estamos en la ciudad autónoma de Buenos Aires y vamos a hacer una demostración de cómo descargar la wallet de Bitcoin.com. Bitcoin Cash es lo que era Bitcoin en un comienzo, una moneda eh, internacional sin intermediarios, rápida y barata de usar. Y pone a recibir que te voy a mandar Bitcoin Cash para que pruebes lo, lo rápido y bien que funciona. Bitcoin Cash, escanear y le voy a mandar 5 dólares. Deslizo y ya le llegó. Y ahí ya tenés los 5 dólares que te llegaron. Así que bueno, ¿qué te pareció la instalación de la aplicación? Es bastante rápida y súper sencilla. Como mencionaron anteriormente, eh, se ha escuchado mucho acerca del Bitcoin Cash pero nunca lo he utilizado, me gustaría aprender a hacerlo, ya que además de mí también tengo una carrera como modelo y me parece que esto me sería de mucha utilidad para poder realizar, para que me realicen pagos a mí y yo poder realizar los pagos. Además así uno se ahorra ese problema de tener que estar buscando el efectivo que está un poquito complicado. Totalmente. Hola everyone, mi nombre es Efe, estoy en Nigeria y me gusta Cash y este es mi Bitcoin Cash Wallet. El día de hoy estuvimos llevando a cabo un meetup en el Hotel Renaissance de la Castellana. Así es, acá estamos con las candidatas del certamen Nuestra Belleza Venezuela que estuvieron aprendiendo mucho sobre... ¡Bitcoin Cash! 2021 is Bitcoin Cash's year. Let's make it happen together.